Hey there, Lynx here and welcome to Look Twice from ATP Projects and Whitecut. I think. And from Whitecut we actually played a game as well. Hmm. Interesting. Actually, I was supposed to play something different, but in the end, Beat Defender said, yeah, this game, no. So we are here. Let's get to it. Let's see what this one's about. It's from 2010. It's a over 10 years old game. Nice. It's dark. Not a frightening or ominous kind of darkness. Just dark. I don't know how long I've been here. I could have realized it just now, or I could have been floating here for an eternity. So in a way, I guess this place is how it always been. What am I doing here? It is as if this thought alone is what suddenly made me conscious of those things. A strange, restless feeling in a deep dark corner. And as I consider this question, something appears before me. That's something, yeah. Hello! She's just there, in the middle of this place of shifting dark colors. Was she there before? It's all like a thing in response to her greeting. You're lost, aren't you? She cocks her head to the side. Uh, I don't think one can be lost in this place. Everything looks the same after all. That's not true. It isn't? Of course. Do you want me to show you? I wonder who this girl is. You don't know who I am. She says this with a bittersweet smile, more like stating a fact than asking a question, then starts moving and I feel myself following behind. As I do so, the nuances of the formless world around me start to change and take on different colors. See? I told you it didn't look the same. A white smile. Now, now you're just bragging. Hmm, you've never very... You're never very nice to girls, are you? I am very nice to them. But aside, what is this place? How come I didn't know there was a place that looked different? Maybe you weren't looking. Looking? You couldn't have been, or you would have found it. So I had to show that it was there, or it would never have gone anywhere. Are there more? Maybe. I can't really say what is beyond this, but I can help you get there. Somehow that kind of guide sounds a little unreliable. A little. Just a little. If you were looking... Uh, sorry. If you were looking, what would you be looking for? She asks this question with a meaningful smile. What would I look for? It's hard to say when I don't know what can be found in the first place. Come on, you must have an idea somewhere. An idea. A ribbon. A mirror. Save the game. Hmm. What would you be looking for? Would I be looking for a mirror? Or for a ribbon? No. Let's say ribbon. A, a ribbon? Alright, let's go find a ribbon. She nods and I give him a surrounding shift once more. The colors change, this time into softer, more bright nuances, like the shifting colors of fabric. That's an interesting thought. What do you mean? A world made of fabric. That girl sure is easy to please, not that I know what she's on about. I look around, searching for this ribbon, but I'm interrupted by a soft outburst from the girl. Ah! I notice she's looking at something small in the middle of this intangible world. A small bundle, tangled up. Is it a ribbon? It looks almost lonely, just lying there in the middle of nothing. It's kind of sad. You think so? 
There is a tone in her voice that I can't decipher. Looking at the ribbon awakens a strange tugging feeling in my chest, as if there is something I should know. We should look for something else. The girl turns away from the old ribbon and smiles awkwardly at me. Then she draws away and takes me with her, still wondering about that tiny sky see, scrap of fabric. That scrap is important. It's not important. Oh my god, is it important or is it not? Let's say it's important. Yeah, it's definitely important. <laughs> I don't know why, but it is. One last time I look at the scrap, but then I pulled away. What is that? The voice of the girl makes me face forward, and I notice what she's talking about. Lines. It looks flat. Like a flat, horizontal, white lines. I stop looking down these mysterious marks. Then I see that the girl is watching them too. A strange, distant look on her face. What is it? She doesn't dance with her. This is the first time I see her without her smile. Is that so? As if she knows the meaning behind these broad lines. Then she slowly looks up at me again. We should move on. That's one of the part of the lines that isn't white. I stop. Curious about this irregularity in the pattern. Part of the painted white line is stained. As if something was spilled there. But staring it also makes me notice the rough texture of the lines themselves. This is a crosswalk. I blurred out the dice world I've been looking for at for so long. Looking at the old stain makes it hard to think for, as if my head is filled with noise. What is it that I'm trying to think of? I look up again, intending to ask Gally she knows. She's just standing there now, watching me with a faint smile. <laughs> what are you looking for? Do you know where it is? She awaits my answer. It's here. It's somewhere away from here. Uh, but, but let's say it's here. Something stirred within me. The faint memory of an incident. Yeah. It's here. There's something here. That I've been looking for. I keep staring down the asphalted ground before me as the colors around us slowly shift around, increasingly, increasing in clarity. Soon, I feel the soft touch of a breeze on my face and look up, getting a clear view of the place I know far too well. A bend in the road and a crosswalk, the place strangely empty and silent, giving in the eerie atmosphere of a dream. On the other side of the street is a convex mirror for traffic safety, but the surface of the mirror is broken and useless. The girl is there too, watching me from the middle of the crosswalk. I realize she has changed too, as if she grew clearer along with everything else around us. Her hair hangs loose on her shoulder over her shoulders as she smiles at me. You I really wanted to go with you. Her voice is beautiful. Is that so? And I feel something heavy inside my chest once again. No. But the girl keeps speaking her monologue. I was really happy that you came. I heard that if you went to the fountain in the park and made a wish with your most important person, you would be able to seal your happiness together. But if you seal the happiness, you don't have that happiness, right? Anyway, it was a silly idea, but I really wanted to do it with you. I don't want you to go. But I have to. Ah, I just wanted to say thank you. You don't know how happy it makes me to know that you will be all right. I wouldn't have hated myself if you had disappeared here together with me. Milly. I love you and don't worry, everything will be all right. I already know it's over. Everything grows blurry around us. I thought that the sun was setting, but now the light increases in force instead, shining strongly behind the girl. 
Please. Please. Be kind to her. To her? What? What? Soon I have to... So sorry. Soon I have to shield my eyes and everything blurs out around me. Colors disappear. Taking the brief as if they were my first, something appears in front of my eyes once again. We're white. A simple white ceiling and a faint hum of machines. A lonely space. Shielded from the rest of the world. And out of the corner of my eye. A single flower. Standing in contrast with the light from the windows. Inhabited by a single butterfly. It flaps its wings. Setting off and straining past me to the other side of the room. And there. Behind the door frame. I see the shape of girl watching me carefully. That's creepy. The end. Who in the world was that second girl? And what exactly happened there? I wonder. Anyway, that was uh, Look Twice from ATP Projects, another game. Hope you enjoyed this little short story and I'll see you in the next game. That's right. Bye bye.